So, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing here today? Well, yeah, this is the Sony uh, scoring stage, and we're back doing a, sort of an update to Cinebrass. A lot of things people were asking for were mutes. People need uh, muted brass, trumpets and trombones mostly, stopped horns, um, and a lot of people really wanted soloists. So we got uh, solo horn, solo trumpet, solo trombone, all with legato transitions. We did it with way more dynamics. We didn't skimp out. We really just did everything. We set a precedent with the first Cinebrass, so we were able to hire some really great players for this one. And uh, for, for trumpets, we got John Lewis and Rick Baptist. Uh, the trombones, we got uh, Al Alex Isles, and, uh, and for tuba, uh, Doug Tornquist, and uh, Brian O'Connor on horn. It's totally out in the open. It's not like a dark date or anything. You, know, yeah. you can talk about it. Everyone's cool. Everyone's happy uh, to do it. And, uh, and everybody benefits then from down the road from the library being sold. Right, but, yeah. exactly. But we all know that the shelf life of these libraries is maybe two years. And then everyone thinks, oh, it's an outdated library. And then you got to come back and do more. Yeah. So I think that's what's great about it. Is we will always be sampling, I think. <laughs> Cinebrass Pro, and you just get everything all in one package. So for people that already own Cinebrass, they'll have a special upgrade price. So they're not paying more for the same, same mm -hmm. sample content. And then uh, guys that don't own anything, they can just buy Cinebrass Pro, and they'll get everything that Cinebrass 1 already has, in addition to all this extra stuff. Mm -hmm. 